Ako ste si to predstavovali a ako to nakoniec bolo? Lepšie, ako ste si predstavovali? Horšie? Výborné? Viem, že odpovedať na otázku. Um, moderating conferences. This is like a, a by the way activity, and every time I do a conference, I want to take something from it to my normal analytical and um, uh, and medicine life. There are several incentives that I will have to think about in my head to know how to connect the social and medical aspects of people with a disability. So that's the first point. So this was really rich in content. S second, I am shocked that this is still this full. Sometimes people come, register, go home, go shopping, and so on. I know there aren't as many opportunities here in Shamorin, like in Bratislava, but I'm still very pleasantly surprised with the participant, with the number of participants and the activity that there were questions. This is not very common. People are often um, shy and so on, but this was quite uh, active. As a, a moderator, I think this was a very good uh, event. Yes, this is what the organizers think as well, including the Slovak Paralympic Committee. I am uh, delighted that for the first time in the history of ESCIF we were able to welcome delegates here as well. So I would like to thank ESCIF that it's active in Europe, that it leaves the European dimension, that the West is not only focusing on the Western countries, but after 89 it is also focusing on the Eastern Bloc, so to speak, and Slovakia is still suffering under um, a huge level of um, inaccessibility, both in architectural terms, but in, in the human terms as well. Lord Dernhoff said that there was an English uh, uh, sociologist, and he, when in 89 the Velvet Revolution came, and he was asked how long will it take until democracy in Slovakia uh, will come. Well, everybody thought that it will come in 89 already. He's, he warned that we should take, uh, we should be ready that this will take 80 years. We have 30 years of history. And that is why I would like to encourage you, do not give up. Many of us have some uh, disability, but don't give up the fight for democracy. Why am I mentioning democracy? Well, this is some kind of a buzzword, but it's often abused as well. Democracy is very much related to sports. Why? Because of the philosophies, because these are philosophies which were created in ancient times. There were two beautiful philosophies created, Kalo Kagatya, a harmonic development of the personality of a person, but democracy was created as well. And these two philosophies have to be connected, so they work together, and if there is no harmonious development of a person, there will be no harmonious development of the society as such. So the way is to connect these two philosophies as closely as possible. And this was done by a very important person, Baron Pierre de Coubertin, the modern founder of um, Olympic Games in 1888, in one of his important publications, he says that a person, a human, is not just the body and the soul, but 
a body, a soul, and the character. And this is what ancient nations knew quite a long time ago, and we are trying to revive this. This is a quote from the year 1888, and it's very important for the present as well. We have a war conflict. We didn't even think that 50 kilometers from Slovak borders there will be bombs dropped. Where did the character go? Where did it get lost? The character of Europe, the character of the world, where we have to deal with these things. And I'm really delighted that this meeting also opened the topic of assisting the Ukrainian citizens who flee from war. I'm really delighted that the president of the Ukrainian Paralympic Committee was here as well. I'm happy that Eskif is helping Ukrainian refugees. And the Slovak Paralympic Committee, since February, on the day the conflict started, we had quite a paradoxical situation because we had a table tennis event. And in Previdza, we had 10 Ukrainian Paralympians who were confronted with the fact that they have nowhere to go because they are from Odessa, for example. We have several wheelchair users who remained here in Slovak Slovakia. We have dozens of them, and we are taking care of them with uh, love as well. Of course, the conflict in Ukraine showed uh, that Slovakia is full of barriers, full of inaccessibilities. We have many architectural barriers. We are not able to help these people who are dependent on the help of their wheelchair, for example, because we have no accommodation for them. If I ask the Slovak part of the audience the question, do you know where the biggest number of architectural barriers are in Slovakia, in which ministry? Yes, it's the Ministry of Health. Why is it so? Well, since 1989, the state did not build any new um, health facilities. We have uh, huge deficiencies in infrastructure, which helps people with a disability in Slovakia. And you, the delegates who are here from Eskif, you can help us tremendously by sharing your experience uh, with projects which you implemented in Slovakia as well, or in, on, uh, in the territory of your countries, because this experience is very ins important and inspiring for us. And this was inspiring for me as well, because I have attended several congresses of ESKIP since 2013, and we always, and I always find some inspiration there. So um, the takeout of this conference, please do not um, Keep it for yourselves, share it with your friends, with your acquaintances, uh, share this information with your surroundings, and that is the right end or conclusion of this conference, that you will not keep it for yourselves, you will share it, you are active somewhere and you will be able to pass this experience on, because that is what the We Are Equal project is about. We share experience, we share stories, we share what we have learned to, in order to help. Because that is what then builds a harmonious society if we, if we develop the person, we develop the society. So this is not the end of the conference, perhaps, because we only the part with lectures finishes, but in the afternoon there will be some workshops as well. But ESKIF continues tomorrow with a conference as well. So I would like to thank all of you for coming to this conference. I would like to thank the representative, representatives of ESKIF and its management that they trusted Slovakia to organize this conference. I would like to thank the secretariat of the conference as well, uh, led by Karol Kulanek and the whole implementation team who organi organizes this conference. I would like to thank Tomáš for moderating and of course all the lecturers and speakers who were here today and yesterday and shared their experience with us. I do believe that this is not the last time we see each other. The Slovak Paralympic Committee has prepared several projects that they want to uh, share and develop. So the project We Are Equal uh, we have been negotiating with the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Labor 
uh, about how to continue with this project for over two years. We are working on more projects of building um, Slovakia-wide infrastructure, which will be able to help. But our priority intention, which we identified within the project, is building SCI units in Slovakia, because this is a huge uh, deficiency which we have here. This is something which is present in the European space, but we don't have it. So I will be happy if we w will be able to uh, use this experience we have shared here for the implementation of SCI units in Slovakia. Thank you very much. I think our president has really mentioned almost everything, and it was really to the point. I don't want to extend the time too much. I want to thank all the colleagues from ESKIF, from We Are Equal. I want to thank the guests, the presenters, to all the whole organizational and technical team. Thank you. I wish you a beautiful day, a nice rest of the conference, either together or individually. Have a safe travel back home. And I really do believe that we might meet again in a year's time, maybe here or somewhere else. So I wish you all the best, maybe some technicalities as well. Okay, I also want to thank you for the opportunity to meet you here, to join you and to come here and words from president. So uh, many inspirations I have mentioned here. I got uh, because I traveled uh, all the continents since 1993 during the Paralympics Games in London. A uh, beautiful project started called Superhumans. It should highlight the success rate of Paralympic athletes in Great Britain and it should be an inspiration and uh, I, you had the opportunity to see it yesterday as well. Helena Kashitska was dancing and Rico was singing. Here is the original song. What, uh, what all the, the song Yes, I Can is what I want to mention as the conclusion of the, con the conference. Enjoy your lunch.